Welcome, my name is Miranda Szymanowicz and I'm the chair of the Australian and New Zealand Society of Thoracic Radiology. And I'm Catherine Jones, I'm a cardiothoracic radiologist and I'm assisting with development, design and implementation of the National Lung Cancer Screening Program. The National Lung Cancer Screening Program will commence around the country in July 2025. And over this year, ANSTA has supported work with the college to design and contribute material towards the development of the screening program. This has been a collaborative effort between multiple stakeholder groups, from the Department of Health and Aged Care, to Cancer Australia, to the Royal Australian and New Zealand College of Radiologists, and to our special interest group, the Australian New Zealand Society of Thoracic Radiology. Over the coming months, you're going to hear more and more about the lung cancer screening program as advocacy reaches the radiology sector and then also out into the mainstream media. And we're all getting ready to go live in mid next year and looking forward for you to join us. This is the biggest screening program that's been introduced in Australia for the last 20 years. And more importantly, aside from breast screen, this is now a really radiology based screening program. And we anticipate that this is going to be a sea change in how we perform our, our role as public health physicians. So please have a look at the information that's coming out. There will be more and more training available to us as radiologists next year. And this is a very exciting opportunity for us to really be involved in what's going to change and improve the health of our, all of us, all, all Australians. Lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer death for all Australians. And it is the fourth most common cause of death for the Australian population. In 2023, there were 8,976 deaths from lung cancer alone. This is an absolutely profound impact to mortality in our nation. We also know that we have particularly vulnerable communities within Australia. Our Indigenous population experience a much higher rate of lung cancer compared to others, and also at a much younger age. We know that their outcomes are poorer compared to other groups within Australia. In addition to this, our patients who live in regional and remote Australia are also at higher risk for late stage disease and have poorer patient outcomes. These are key groups that we are looking to help as part of this program. Lung cancer is disproportionately diagnosed in stage four incurable disease. 42% of lung cancer is diagnosed in this stage and that's compared to the other common cancers in, that affect the Australian population which is breast cancer, colorectal cancer, prostate cancer and melanoma on average of which only 6% are diagnosed at this late stage. And what lung cancer screening provides is an opportunity to shift that stage and result in a populational wide pickup of about 60% of cancers being diagnosed as stage one curable disease. By targeting patients who we know are at high risk for lung cancer, this is the aim of our program, using a low dose non-contrast CT to identify these cancers at early stage one disease. We have developed in collaboration with our respiratory physician colleagues a nodule management protocol that allows an algorithmic approach to reporting low dose CT for lung cancer screening with a combination of using a powerful mathematical risk calculation model to triage patients at entry to the program, as well as a stepwise management algorithm to deal with stable findings or growth, we provide the materials for any radiologist to confidently and reproducibly report these studies. Now, what does this mean for us as radiologists in Australia? Well, there are going to be a lot more CT chest scans coming our way. And this means that we're going to have to change what we do and learn how to do lung cancer screening. The great news is that we have a really comprehensive learning package coming towards 2025 for all radiologists who'd like to be involved. It's really important to be aware of what's coming so that we can help get our practices ready. And that means being prepared for July 2025. The Australian and New Zealand Society of Thoracic Radiology is a special interest group that is open to anybody who reports any kind of imaging of the chest. So we invite anybody who wants to hear further updates as we lead up to the launch of the National Lung Cancer Screening Program to join the ANSTA mailing list and to stay abreast of everything we're preparing as we get ready for the big day. Thank you.